Good afternoon, East Tennessee. Madison Blevins here with former Tennessee baseball standout JP Aaron Tibia. JP, you uh, hold quite a few records at Tennessee. You're ranked in the top 10 in six different categories. The last time this Tennessee baseball team went to the College World Series was 2005. You were a freshman on that team. So I want to ask you, just what do you remember about playing in a College World Series? Honestly, I, I remember the one thing is, is how like insanely large the crowds were when you, you get there, you think like, all right, you know, I've played at different stadiums and you get 10,000, 7,000. The first game I'm playing in, in Omaha is in front of almost 30,000 fans. And so it's like, holy smokes. And obviously as, as a young kid who watched the college world series all the time and, you know, dreamed about playing in the college world series, here I was playing in the College World Series. I get chills just talking about it because it was, uh, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, you can't describe the, the emotions that you go through. And you speak on those emotions and, and growing up watching the College World Series. I think a lot of these Tennessee players have felt the same way and now their dreams are becoming a reality heading to Omaha today. Um, just what's your advice to 18 to 22 year old players that are now playing, living out their dream, playing in Omaha, just to kind of keep a level head and mindset because the one goal is not to just make it to Omaha, but to win in Omaha. Yeah. Uh, you know, the biggest thing is to really take it all in, like to try to live in the moment as much as possible. That's the one thing I would say, because it, it, it goes quick, right? I mean, we were there and now, you know, it seems like forever ago, but when you're in the moment, try to really like step back and take it all in and, and enjoy it and have fun. And at the end of the day, the worst case scenario, you made it to Omaha and you don't win a national championship. And I know that's not what they're, they're there to win a national championship. But if you can kind of go to that point where it's like, man, I just want to enjoy it. And whatever happens, I can't control the other outcomes, but I can control how much I really enjoy it. And uh, so that's one thing that I would say is just really try to stay in the moment and present, you know, connect with your breath. I think obviously all these little things that they learn as athletes uh, to be able to minimize, you know, the moment, because it's easy to get caught up emotionally in, in, you know, you're in the College World Series. And JP, you have such a unique perspective too, because not only were you on the 2005 team, but you've been around this current Tennessee baseball team. You were on Vitello staff pretty early on. So I just want to know from your perspective, what separates this team from that 16 year gap where no Tennessee baseball teams made it to the college world series? I mean, honestly, a, a lot of it is mindset and obviously you have to have great players as well. I mean, we had uh, a lot of good players in that 2005 team, obviously that played in the major leagues and, and had great careers. But when, when you think about the staff, you know, what Tony and Frank and Josh and Ross and the strength coach Q, all these, all these guys that have, what they've been able to come in and do, it's, it's getting players, but also developing them. And I mean that as men off the field, I mean that as, as mentally strong players and, and, and humans, obviously physically strong, and they've done that. that. That's the biggest thing. So they've been able to recruit the right players and then put the right mindset and all of a sudden, now you have a Tennessee team who competes and has really, you know, in short time, I mean, gotten to a point where, I mean, even last year, I, I talked to Tony and Tony was like, man, this is a team last year that could have made it to the World Series. And now here we are sitting talking about a team that's in the World Series. So, uh, you know, that's, that's, they've done a phenomenal job again. And that, that's the biggest difference is these guys have a mindset. You watch them play. They're not scared of anybody. They, they want to go out there and they want to play. They want to fight. They, Tennessee is no longer uh, somebody who, who would go and play and hope to win. They expect to win. And that's the difference. You talk about developing these players. And that's something that the players have spoke on all year as well as just crediting their head coach, Tony Vitello, for the way he's poured into them. And, and just how great of a leader Vitello is for this program. How important is it to have a head coach like Tony Vitello in college baseball? Well, you know, I, I got to volunteer for a year, right? So I got to be around him and see the way he went about his business. And I will tell you one thing, I, I got kind of scared about getting into the game because I was like, man, you have zero life. Like literally all you do is, is recruit or talk to players or, you know, practice or, you know, he doesn't stop. He really cares. He truly cares. And I think that's one thing right away when you have somebody who's genuine 
and you know that they actually truly care about you, then you're already bought in. And then now you put together with, you know, how he talks to guys, how he motivates people, how, how he pushes guys to be better, how he even acts himself, right? How he carries himself. I think that permeates throughout an entire team and even through his staff. And it makes everybody around him better. And obviously you see what it's been able to do with all these players and how much they love and respect them, but it's because he genuinely cares. And so once you do that and he speaks, then you really take it in and you believe it. And that's the kind of guy, you know, you hear about somebody and they say, oh, I'll run through a wall for that guy. Like that's how players feel like because they feel like he has their back. And that's the most unbelievable thing you can say as a, as a player. That's for sure. Yeah, and that's what a lot of these players have said, too, is that they'll, they'll run for a wall for each other, their family. Evan Russell was talking about that on Sunday, just how much of family this Tennessee baseball team is. Looking at the bracket now, we know Tennessee will open up with Virginia on Sunday. The College World Series bracket is interesting in itself in the sense of you can lose twice, it's double in the nation, then it's a best of three series. So when it comes to just preparing is it, is it safe to say you kind of have to take it as cliche as it is one game at a time or just how do you prepare for a college world series? Well, listen, these guys are prepared. I mean, undoubtedly, obviously, Tony, we talk about mentality. It, think about the regional. They got thrown into the fire with the toughest regional, I think, in the country. And so they but they responded the way you would imagine. They, they answered back. I mean, obviously, that first game, you know, down what they were down to hit a walk off grand slam to kind of set the tone at the regionals. I think that's, that's something that, that really was special, but I also think that that allows them to be in a better place coming into the world series. And it's, it is, it's, a, it's baseball is a game, but it's not just one game at a time. It's one pitch at a time because literally one pitch could be the difference as we saw in game one in the regionals, a grand slam to walk them off. One pitch can be the difference in a game. So it's really trying to, even make it smaller to go, hey, one pitch at a time, one out at a time, one play at a time. And then by adding those up at the end of the game, you're going to be in a good place. Lastly, JP, I just want to ask you about Vol Nation. Tennessee fans have just rallied around this baseball team. They're excited. They're hungry for a successful team to cheer for. And now Tennessee baseball is delivering on that. Just how, is excited, how exciting is it for you as a former player to just see Knoxville really rally around baseball? Well, I got to tell you one thing, it kills me that I can't be there um, because I've been working obviously and during the season, I, I can't really get away, but it's the coolest thing to watch because it's something that like, it's, it's really cliche also too, but it's like, if you build it, they will come and they've built it and they came. And it's like, you, I get chills talking about it because I'm watching these games. I'm seeing the support, even during the season, like watching these guys, you know, the, the, the student section, which really I've never seen like that. And the, and the atmosphere that I've never been able to see like that. I mean, we went to the regionals and we had a lot of fans, but it was nothing like what it is today. And you know, that Tennessee, if there's one thing, that they love is winning and fans, they are there, they are passionate. And if you give them a product, they'll be there and support you. And I think you see it, you know, there's people outside of the stadium. There's a block party outside of the stadium of, of fans. So listen, Vol Nation is huge. You see Tennessee, you see Tennessee hats everywhere you go. You can be in Disney world. You can be wherever you want on the, you're going to see something with Tennessee. And uh, you know that it, it makes the world a difference to these guys. And I hope that they show up in Omaha and show up loud because it does help players. It does help us when you go out there and you feel that support. Obviously, you saw what it did in the regionals. You saw what it did in the super regionals. You saw what it did throughout the season. And now they're in the biggest stage. So I hope that they continue. And I have no doubt that they'll continue to go out there and, and support. I like how you say if they build it, they will come. I think Tennessee fans are definitely proving that with Tennessee baseball this year. All right, JP, I appreciate it so much. And uh, we look forward to talking with you again soon. All right. Well, enjoy your time out there. It's a pretty special place.